Today Molly and I went to the aquarium or the Sea Life Centre in South End Seafront and we had a really, really good time. Molly was excellent. She walked nice and calmly. She was fascinated by the fish, absolutely fascinated. Wanted to get in the tank with them, I think, but she was really, really good and I'm really proud of her. She did everything I asked of her and she enjoys her job. That's, that's the beauty of it. She loves being with me. She loves, you know, walking around and just, just being together and having fun and doing things. So it's great for Molly and I'm so grateful to Dog Aid for training me to train her so that she can do all this stuff with me and can join me on my outings and can have fun with me. And she gives me confidence. It's not just the physical assistance, but it's the confidence as well. And today she pressed her first door button to open the door, which I was really impressed with. <laughs> and her first traffic light button as well. She pressed that for the first time. She's still getting used to the targeting directly. So I was really, really impressed that she got them both. I'm so proud of her. She's done so well. After that, we went to uh, Chalkwell Park and had a little run around. And I ran along with Molly, as you'll see. I'll share some videos with you. And um, we saw some pheasants and Molly was absolutely fascinated. She thought they were great. She could not believe what she was seeing. So we took her to see them twice. And it was just a lovely day. You know, the aquarium was so, you know, peaceful and quiet. And she was so good. She was so excited at first but she was very calm at the same time. She enjoyed it. She was very well behaved and I'm just really proud of her. And it's so lovely to have her with me and just to be together. And, you know, an assistance dog, there's lots of different types. There's guide dogs, hearing dogs, canine partners, dogs for good, support dogs, medical detection dogs, dog aid. There's, you know, there's so many different charities and there's new ones up and coming all the time. And, you know, there's no limit really to what dogs can do. And that's the amazing thing, you know, Molly, does physically assist me with tasks but she also alerts three to four hours before I spike a temperature which is not something we've taught her this is something she's picked up by herself and assistance dogs as I said it's not just the physical assistance tasks it's the confidence and the reassurance and the companionship as well they're such wonderful companions and you know Molly is my life really apart from my charity work she is my life and you know our dogs give us life they give us quality of life they give us hope they give us enjoyment, companionship, friendship, and they give us a purpose and a routine. You know, my day revolves around walking Molly and training Molly, and that gets me out every day. It gets me socialising with people, and that's the beauty of assistance dogs. They'd, they're just great all round for a person, and I would recommend them to anybody with a disability, medical condition, whatever you need the dog for, and the way the dog can help you, I recommend them to anybody. And Dog Aid have been fantastic with Molly and I, and I'm so grateful for all their support. And as I call them, the family of Dog Aid, the other clients who have become like family to me. And we're, it's so wonderful. And we've just had a lovely day today and I hope you enjoy our video.